Hey Square Bears, it's your girl Chris, and in this video I'm going to show you how I did my U-Part wig using Indian Hair Company's Virgin Indian Hair. So the first thing that I did was I did get a stretch dome cap and placed it on my mannequin head, and then I started to bond the webs onto the dome cap. Now right directly under the dome cap, I placed a plastic bag on the mannequin head, and that's just to prevent the seepage from the glue to actually stick to the mannequin head because it does kind of bleed through the cap the the glue actually does do that and as you can see I'm just kind of measuring the tracks and um, kind of guesstimating how long I need to have each track and make sure that they're not too close together but they are close enough that it's a nice full look but at the end of each side I'm making sure that I'm reinforcing it with additional hair glue. Now I'm applying the hair glue onto the actual cap as well as the tracks and I'm keeping the tracks pretty close as we get to the end of the hair so that when you pull the hair back there is you can't see any gaps or anything but in the middle of the actual hair I am allowing about a half an inch to a quarter of an inch space in between each track. And I guess you can see it better than I can explain it. There's, They're not really stacked on top of each other. I do want a full look, but it's really not necessary for you to just stack it close to each other in the middle of the, um, the actual dome head or in the middle of the actual, I guess, uh, spandex cap. I can't speak, you guys. I'm sorry. So I'm um, just repeating this process. After I get about, I say, six tracks in at a time, I then use my hair dryer, but you guys will see that later on the, in the tutorial. But I'm just bringing the hair along. Um, I'm going in a you know semi-circle kind of um, direction until it gets into about the crown of the head. Then I start to make like a U um, direction of how I'm placing the tracks just so that it goes into the natural direction of how the hair will lay. Now, this is a mo more complicated part or something that I've tried. Um, this is the overlaying part to kind of close out the U part. So I'm just using lace glue and I'm placing the lace glue, a pretty heavy, uh, thick, thick amount of lace glue over the top track where the U part is exposed. And then I'm just taking random pieces of hair and just cutting the tracks off and then placing the loose hair very neatly right over the track. So as you can see when I'm doing that, I'm allowing um, that illusion of like just hair growing out of scalp. And that's going to allow the tracks to be covered, but it's also going to allow me not to have that much of my natural hair out I'm really trying to limit the amount of natural hair I'm going to have out when I you know wear units and um, pieces like this so with working with this lace glue you do want to make sure that you get it as dry as possible so it doesn't get too sticky I'm having kind of a, a problem with working with the stickiness of it but we worked it out and so that's how it looks at the finishing part and now I'm just simply cutting the middle out just cutting any residual out so you can see how nice and neat and how covered the tracks are and that is it right there now that white part is a part of the spandex for the cap you can dye it or whatever you can cut the little white part out it's not a problem here's my hair installed and if you guys want to see the video on how I curled my hair I have it up so go ahead and click any links below or any of those pictures here are some of my product recommendations. I absolutely live and die by these products. I use this all the time. I hope that you guys definitely check them out. Go ahead and click on the pic right here if you want to see a tutorial for this look. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, Square Bears.